In this video, we're gonna be looking at this, which is the S5 Max Robo Rock Vacuum. Now, this is also a robot mop, and it's one of the best that we've seen so far. Let's check it out because this thing is almost, and I mean almost, perfect. So guys, just to let you know, I've got a special discount code for UK customers if you're interested and all my normal affiliate links will be in the description. So my friends, this is the Roborock S5 Max. Now this is a very, very smart vacuum cleaner. Now I've been using robot vacuum cleaners probably for three years now, and they've got better and better. In fact, the one that I've got at the moment, I've been quite happy with, but I've not seen one previously that has got the mop function. So when the guys from Roborock reached out to me and said, do you want to test this? Then it was a resounding yes. I've got a dog that goes out into the garden and brings in muddy footprints all the time so having that mop facility is definitely very good the other added advantage is obviously you can do those both things at the same time so therefore you can hoover you can vacuum from one end and then the mop section goes on the back and it will give you that mopping effect afterwards and I'll show you how good it performs a little bit later those of you worried about having to assemble this, then you don't need to worry. It comes completely pre-assembled. The only thing that you'll need to do is fill it up with water and also attach that mop section. The build quality of this machine really is first class. It feels very durable. It's gonna sustain any knocks and scrapes that it gets. I love the wheels. There's loads of given those. And I've got a particular area in my living room where my current vacuum struggles to go over the legs of some chairs. And I'll show you that in a second. But this does feel like a step up probably from previous models simple design very neat very tidy it's got the water section at one end this just fills with standard water there is a warning on here that says don't use detergent so effectively what you're going to be doing is filling it up with water that will then moisten the damp cloth which attaches underneath which i'll show you in a second and that then creates the mopping type effect now also underneath you've got really easy access if you do need to clean or maintain the bottom now one of the first hoovers i had of this type you had to get a phillips screwdriver and undo things and it was a real pain just to get a, a loose thread for instance or something that got trapped in the brush but as you can see here you can literally lift it out and clean it it's very very simple indeed now there is also a section obviously for vacuuming and you lift up the flap at the front and this section in here is where the storage compartment is for what has been hoovered up or vacuumed up the dust and the hairs and again that can be cleaned and emptied very very easily Okay, so that's the dust collection area covered and also the water facility. Now that water effectively feeds the mop area. Now that is this part here, which will then dampen and stay wet and that then creates the mopping. This can be taken off really easy to clean. It's a cat attached by a Velcro and then you just literally slide it out like this and then you can slide it back in once clean. Now what would have been nice had there been a spare one of these included because obviously if you're taking this out to clean it, it would have been great to be able to have a spare to use. Use. so that's maybe something which they should think about next time this literally just attaches to the bottom just like so and again it is very very simple to operate now I was going to go into a full section about setting this up, but it's so simple I'm not going to bother. You literally just press two fingers for three seconds, that puts it into Wi-Fi pairing mode, and then you need to download the app, which is a Roborock app, and then literally follow the on-screen instructions and you will be connected in no time. Now I've got it set up here where I'm just going to put the included waterproof protector at the bottom. Now it's up to you whether you use that. Obviously if you've got a damp mop section, then you may want to use that so that your floors don't get damaged but then you're ready to go. When you first go into the app, you'll notice it will say no map found, and that's because it hasn't yet scanned your area. Now the scanning of the area is so clever, and I'll show you that in just a second. There's also various different cleaning modes. Now, bear in mind that this will have an effect on the battery life. So the lightest cleaning mode on the left-hand side will make the battery obviously last longer, and the more rigorous one, the one with the higher volume of vacuum, will make it obviously go a lot quicker. You've also got different water levels because that will then give you an indication of how much pressure needs to go down on the actual mop. Okay, so when you start it, you'll notice it will just say starting and then it will begin.
Now obviously if you do have the mop installed then it will recognize that you've got that mop attached and when you click it in and then you attach the mop to the bottom it will then give you a verbal confirmation that it recognizes the mop is there. Mopping module enabled. So guys, I mentioned earlier about how impressed those wheels looked, and this is brilliant because my current vacuum always got stuck on these chairs. As you can see, the design of these chairs, they've got these long bars which obviously then get in the way. And I was currently having to go and rescue my vacuum because it had got almost like beached, I guess is the term, on these chairs. But this one completely bossed it, went straight over the top with no fuss and no issues at all. Okay, next is one of my favorite features, and that is the scanning and the mapping of the area. Now, this thing is so clever, it's got sensors built into it, which will scan the area and map it for you, so that you can then refer back to this map at a later date. Now, as it goes along, it basically reads the room, and it senses the walls, and it creates this almost like floor pan type effect. And it is so, so accurate, it is unbelievable. Areas which it can't go around, so for instance, now it's struggling to go around my sofa because it's too low my sofa for it to go underneath, and so therefore it creates almost like a cutout of the room and it was amazing how accurate this was. It's even picking up areas outside because I had patio doors open and that's what that area to the top is and as it went around it created a perfect floor plan of the area and also you can see the white trail is the area that it's covered so as you can see it is so so accurate. You're then able to create zones. Now this could be a zone that you wanted to clean or a zone that you wanted to avoid. For instance, if you had carpet. So again, this is brilliant. So let's just say I've just spilt something here in the kitchen. I can now send it off just to clean that area alone. Now there's loads of other advantages to this type of technology because that means that you can just concentrate on what is maybe your busiest areas. So you may have a room that doesn't get used too much and so therefore you don't need it to go into that room too often. And so this will then just concentrate on the areas that you choose. So that zone mapping is brilliant. And as you can see, it's going there now and I'll just speed this up and you can see it does a great job of cleaning up that whole area. And another clever feature when it's done, it recognizes the fact that it's done the whole area and so then it just goes back to its base and it then starts charging. Charging. Now one feature I was really keen on looking at was the mop facility because I don't have that on my current model. Now what I would say is that it did a pretty good job of getting rid of things like the dog's paw prints, footprints if I'd been out in the garden and come in on a wet day for instance, that was fine. But obviously bear in mind that there is no detergent in this and so therefore you're not giving it a proper full on clean with any type of disinfectants or anything, it really is more of a surface wipe. But I think that that is just a nice facility, it doesn't hurt to have that and it's just a great thing just to have as a bit of a bonus I guess. Another nice feature is that when it runs out of battery it will go back and charge and then it will return to finish off what it didn't do previously. Right at the beginning of this video I said that this was almost perfect and that's because I've got one gripe. So far I've not been able to operate this via any smart assistant. I can use the app fine no problem at all but my last vacuum all I said was Alexa can you please start the Hoover or whatever it was and it worked straight away but this I am struggling to connect. I've tried multiple different apps, multiple different smart things and all those and I've struggled. I'd be interested if anyone else has got this and they've got it working because that will solve a frustration of mine because it could be a bit of a deal breaker for me. So guys, help me out if you can. Anyway, other than that, this thing is fantastic. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.